Hey, it's Jody from Toy Addict. So I just went to this awesome estate sale and I found this huge stack of 1950s and 60s um, little golden books and I wanted to share them with you because they're just so cute. I just love them. So let's take a quick look. We'll just show you a couple pages from each book. This one's called Animal Friends. Cute little puppies and kittens and rabbits. And they're living in the forest. This is from 1973. So I guess I lied. 50s, 60s, and 70s. They have a turtle friend and some bird friends. And they just look like they're having a really good time. Oh. Super cute. And the next one is Scuffy and the Tugboat, His Adventures Down the River. Now I remember these scuffy ones. I think they even still make them now. This one has a paper, or not paper, actually a fabric um, spine on it instead of the gold. Oh, this one's 1946. So maybe that's why it's different. Some real cute pictures. Scuffy the tugboat. Oh, and a storm. Poor Scuffy. But then at the end, he's back in the bathtub. <laughs> this one's fun. Donald Duck's Adventure. It was owned by Connie Lee Simmons at one time. Copyright 1950, this one. It's a fun images of Donald getting in trouble. Whoa! Donald naked. Good grief, Donald. Put your shirt back on. Getting yelled at by a farmer. I think that's the first time I've seen Donald completely in the buff. That one looks like a lot of fun. This one's cute. Brownie Scouts, a little golden book. This one was originally 29 cents. Golden Beginning Readers Books. This is from 1961. Have some sweet pictures of girls being in brownies, going on brownie trips. Mm, I don't know if they do that anymore. Helping others. Very sweet. The next one is Pepper. And Pepper um, was a sister of the Tammy dolls from the 60s and 70s. This one is called Pepper Plays Nurse. It's from 1964. Oh, she must be taking care of the animals. You could get Pepper's dad and mom and of course her sister Tammy, all the dolls. Oh, and a golden magazine offer. Oh, this one looks like a lot of fun. Disney's Donald Duck and the Witch. Let's get a little Halloween book. More than 300 million little golden books have been sold by this point. Ooh. I wonder what that number is now.
This is 1953. It's a Huey, Dewey, and Louie story. I actually think I have the record that goes with this story and has a really fun song on it. For Halloween. Look at that witch. She doesn't look all that scary. But then, of course, there's the human bones laying next to her. That would probably be kind of scary. But then Huey, Dewey, and Louie decided to dress up like witches for Halloween. And I guess they learned how to fly. That's a fun one. McGilla Gorilla. Love this cartoon. From Hanna-Barbera. 1964. So many fun pictures. You know, McGilla Gorilla's Adventures. This one I thought was neat. Shazam! A Circus Adventure. This is 49 cents, so it's probably a little bit older. 1977. Almost as old as me. So this is Shazam's a superhero, so it's sort of more in the comic style. And I'm sure they're going to save somebody from something. There's clowns. Thanks, Shazam, for saving the day. This one looks neat. It's called Broken Arrow. Looks like a Native American story. I hope it's politically correct. This is from 1957. Looks like it's about the Apaches. This one is kind of fragile. Oh, it's about wars. Mm, this looks like kind of scary, but definitely in the 50s, kids were into the cowboys and Indians scenario. Oh, but it looks like the Native American boy and the white boy became friends. That's good. Hmm, this one's cute. The little fat policeman. Uh-oh, he's getting mad at that chicken. This one is from 1950. Same kind of drawings as in that other one. I love these, this kind of illustration. 50s, very simple but fun. Oh, getting a cat out of a tree. So there's, looks like there's a few stories in here. Uh oh, he's got to go into a haunted house. Scary. Oh, it's just a dog. Oh, and there's a a song. How cute. I'm not musical, but if I was. <laughs> Woodsy Owl and the Trail Bikers. I bet this one is 70s. 1974. Yep. In the 70s and 80s, there were lots of public service announcements with Woodsy the Owl. I just loved him. Don't be a dirty bird. And even the deer and the animals helped. A couple more here. A Mary Poppins story, The Magic Compass. Let's see, this is 1953, it looks like. So this is before the movie came out. So it must be, let's see if it's based on a P.L. Travers. Oh, 
P.L. Travers actually wrote this version. That's neat. The animals Merry Christmas. Nineteen fifty-three. Look at these graphics. That deer is so sweet. Oh, the Christmas tree in the forest, and the squirrel with the coat on. Oh my gosh! And the knitting raccoons. Baby squirrels in their beds. Let's see, these aren't little golden books. I'm going to show you this one, though. Humpty Dumpty and Old King Cole Spring Up Action Book Series. Because this is really cool. It's like a pop-up book. Look at the staircase. Art craft paper products. I don't think I've seen one of these before. And I don't see a year on it, but I'm going to guess late 40s or early 50s just by the the way the book's made and the graphics. Little Golden Books. Hall. from an estate sale this weekend. Had a lot of fun sharing them with you. Like and subscribe if you like my videos. And check my check me out on my blog toy-addict.com. eBay, Etsy, Facebook. You can connect with me in all kinds of ways. And the details are all down in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.